I was reading a pet food industry journal about a year and a half ago, and I came across a woman's name, Dr. Anna Helm Bjorkman, uh, from the veterinary school at University of Helsinki in Finland, doing research on organic fresh foods. And the reason that this caught my eye is in North America, we are doing no research on the power of fresh living whole organic foods being fed to pets because we know that the only research that's get, that, that really gets funded is if there's some saleable product or commercial diet at the end. And so no one is doing independent pet food research. Sadly, it's just too expensive and no one has the funds. This blessed researcher, PhD veterinarian, is doing university-based research in Helsinki. She's doing unbelievable research into metabolomics pertaining to the toxins coming from commercial foods. And then what happens when a cohort of dogs that have consumed, she really put together a four, a four cohort study. Dogs that have been fed fresh organic food their whole life and then eat processed contaminated food for four months dogs that have been eating toxic, dead, inorganic kibble their whole life, and then put on to fresh, toxin-free food, and then animals that have gone back and forth between those two. So going from a toxic diet to a fresh food diet, what happens to inflammatory markers and cancerous markers, such as homocysteine and methionine? She does a lot of metabolomics. So they're taking samples, urine, hair, blood, feces and skin biopsies. And they're running metabolomics on thousands of dogs being fed a whole variety of different diets. But the most interesting thing is looking at the, at the metabolomic changes that occur when animals go from eating entirely toxic foods to fresh food diets. And after four months, their metabolic markers for inflammation and other toxins are reduced by at least 50%, just going from a chemically laden dry food that's contaminated onto fresh chemical-free food. It's dramatic. Likewise, animals that have been consuming fresh organic free-range meats and no GMOs or glyphosates that are put on chemically tainted food, glyphosate tainted food, their inflammatory markers are profound enough to induce disease just eating those foods in four months.